I'd like to share with you in this video what is the best way to achieve good paintbrush strokes in your color graphs. I'm going to show you how you can use different products to achieve a really nice painterly feeling in your prints. We are going to end up with a test sheet with all the different ways we can achieve the brush strokes. Hope you enjoy the video. So what I'm interested in, what is going to give me the best brush stroke? So I've got Car Brand and print make, Plate Making Gel, uh, which is by Akua. I've got Car Brand and Grit. I've got Micaceous Iron Oxide. And I have got some extra heavy gel, acrylic medium. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dry brush. And I want to use a dry brush because I want a brush stroke. So first of all, let's try out the carborundum gel. So what I want is to see how, first of all, how um, dark it's going to get and, but also how good are the brush strokes. Uh, then we're going to move on to micaceous iron oxide. It's a bit more runny. Then I'm going to use uh, acrylic paint. So um, just for visibility, I'm going to go for black. Um, just to make it fair, I feel like I need to do a bit more of that with my carborundum gel. Now this, the reason why I'm using extra heavy is because I want um, something which is heavy body. I don't want something which is too runny because if something's too runny, uh, I'm not gonna get that sort of brush stroke effect as much. Um, that's my theory anyway. So this is for my carb random grit. I want to see what that will do. Also, what I want to find out from this experiment is which one is going to be, give me uh, what value. Uh, so I suspect the darkest will probably be <clears throat> Micaceous Iron Oxide and Carborandum Gel by Akua. Although I would be really interested to see which one's darker. That would be very, very interesting to find out. This will be fairly light tone. It's basically a bit like matte medium. So I suspect this will work a lot like matte medium. However, <clears throat> let's find out by actually um, using matte medium. I would like to see which one is lighter. 
as you can see because it's a very runny medium it, it's not as good as actual acrylic paint i can't get good enough brush strokes with this but it will be good to see which one is darker matte medium or acrylic paint acrylic paint is supposed to be matte or semi-gloss at least anyway um so yeah it will be really good to see but what i'm after is which one gives me best brush strokes and which one gives me what value i'm gonna wait for these to dry and wait for that one to dry before i shake off the carb random and we'll find out okay it's all nice and dry it's time to test it i've got some already ink kua purple ink rolled out so i'm gonna use that So there is some, it, the ink hasn't, because I'm rolling the ink on, it's not getting to all the gaps, but I'm rolling it on because I don't want to disturb my design, my um, my brush strokes too much. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it off with a scrim in, and that will push the ink in. Okay. So uh, I'm going to use my scrim to make it into a ball and as I do that, that will sort of push the ink in a little bit. <coughs> This, although it looks dark, it won't be. It will be more like this. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a final polish with just a bit of news newspaper. All right. Um, this is now ready to be printed and I'm very interested to see which ones will create the most interesting brush strokes. Let's go to the press. I'm just uh, placing some wetted paper on top and some newsprint and I've also got, um, I always sort of put extra um, paper for just to protect my blankets and just adjusting my press just to make sure there's enough pressure and here we go just turning the wheel and almost finished here we go let's see what have we got hmm okay so that was carborandum gel by akua Let's get a close up. So this was um, Carborandum Gel by Akua. That uh, came out quite nicely. I really do like the brush strokes on that. This was Macacious Iron Oxide. It's more expressive. Um, it's not as dark. Um, you get really, really good brush stroke. If you're after something lighter, that's definitely a good way uh, to go so very dark really good expressive brush strokes of a cool carborandum gel 
<clears throat> quite expressive, a little bit lighter with micaceous iron oxide. Super dark with carborandum just on its own. Thrown onto a bit of extra heavy body medium, acrylic medium. Still quite expressive. So as this medium is extra heavy um, body medium is quite dry, you can get some nice brush strokes. So very dark. This is acrylic paint. Now, that is quite nice because it's sort of lighter. Um, and this is um, matte medium. So they are the same value, but um, acrylic paint is more expressive. You see those brush strokes more because it's thicker. Um, I think if I used heavy body acrylic paint, it would be even more expressive. Um, but that is basically the difference between the acrylic paint and acrylic medium, matte medium. So yeah, it's definitely worth a go. I have done this experiment because I'm actually planning to do um, a print with very expressive brush strokes. So I thought I'll share it with you and let you know how it went. Hope you enjoyed it.